Okay, this is example one from the notes. So this is where you should be writing some of this stuff down. All right, so we're factoring. As you can see here, we have a four term polynomial. How in the world can we factor this? Well, here's the first move. The first move is probably gonna confuse you. The first move, you actually split the left side from the right side. So you split them two by two. So your first move is to split them two in the left, two in the right. Okay, so that's your first move. Now watch this. Now you focus on one side at a time. Could you simplify this? Could you reduce this? Absolutely, watch this. This is very aggressive, but just wait to the whole picture. So if I lose you, like, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? You'll see, it'll come, it'll come around. So I'm going to reduce this by factoring, taking out a GCF. The most I could take out of a 3Z and a 9 is just a 3. So let's rewrite it after I factor it. Hopefully you spent some time factoring in the last few sections, otherwise you're gonna be in trouble. Okay, so if you need to brush up on your factoring skills, make sure you do that. Okay, so there's the right side. Okay, now let's focus on the left side. Okay, what can I take out of a 2z cubed and a 6z squared? I think I can take out a 2z squared. Sorry, my 2s and my z's look the same. Try to get more of a loop in there. There we go. All right, that's what I can take out. Factor it out, rewrite it. Okay, this is dividing. 2s cancel, z squareds cancel. Z plus a three. I guess that was a plus three, okay? Now, look at this. Remember the intro video, okay? You're probably thinking, whoa, that made no sense, okay? What, what are we doing here? Well, here's what I was doing. <clears throat> I was trying to factor out a GCF from the left and a GCF to the right to get some like remains. So the stuff that stays in the brackets here, I call it the remains. If you have like remains, then you can follow that trick that I showed you in the intro video. What's going on here? This number and this number are multiplying. They're both multiplying the same thing. That means you can group them. It is no different than when I showed you this right here, okay? The 5x and the 3x, they're doing the same thing, so you can group them, okay? The 2z squared and the 3 are doing the same thing, so you can group them, okay, in their own bracket. Hey, I'm multiplying this. Hey, man, so am I. Okay, let's hang out. Think of it that way. If two numbers are doing the same thing, you can group them. Okay, that's it, I'm done, okay? End of story. Now watch this, I'm gonna check with the poly box. It's, don't think any harder than that. I know it looks weird, I know it's crazy, but this works every single time, okay? Well, most of the time, okay, we'll talk about that. It only works, I guess, when you have like terms in here, when the remains are the same. If you have different remains, then you're kind of stuck, but we'll talk more about that in class. Okay, so, Let's make a poly box here, two by two. Let's prove it here. Two z times a z is a two z cubed. Two z squared times a three is a six z squared. Let's see, uh, a z times a three is a three z. Three times three is a nine. Let's see here, I have a two z cubed plus a six z squared plus a three z plus a nine. Look at that. That looks just like the original question. Yeah, it is, okay? So it worked, all right? So again, the process, split it two by two, factor something from the left, factor something from the right. So uh, find a GCF on the left side and the right side, okay? And then your third move, so I found the GCF and then you group. Okay, that's it. So split it two by two, factor or find a GCF on the left and the right, Take that GCF out of each side and then group. I'll show you an even faster shortcut. If you notice, your GCFs belong in the first group and then your remains belong in the second group. So I'm gonna show you a shortcut here in the next one. Okay, be ready.